In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix it when it says unstable internet connection on TikTok. Okay, so if you're experiencing that message that pops up at the top that says unstable internet connection, typically nine times out of 10 when that appears, it's because you're on, like they say, an unstable internet connection. So what you can do is first you can just test out your internet connection outside of TikTok. So if I go out of TikTok and then I open up Chrome, for example, and then I just open up a random website, you want to check how long the website loads or takes to load. If it takes quick to load, then you know that your internet connection is fine and then it could be a problem within TikTok. So the next thing you want to check out is you want to either go onto Google or go onto YouTube and you can just type into the search bar is TikTok down and then you just want to hit search and if you see a whole bunch of posts saying that TikTok is down then you know that they're having problems within their servers and then that can also cause that error message but if it's still not working and if TikTok is still up the next thing that you can try and do is to clear the cache of TikTok so what you can do sometimes when TikTok has a lot of cache it can cause problems so go to your profile then tap the three horizontal stripes at the top right hand corner then tap on settings and privacy, then tap on manage account. Then you want to scroll down and then you see cache and cellular data, this option, this option right over here. If I tap on free up space, what you want to do is you want to clear the cache of TikTok. So you can see I have 103 megabytes of cache. If I tap on clear, tap on clear again, then that can reset the cache within TikTok and then that can solve the problem. The one thing you can try and do as well is to update your TikTok app. So just go into either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and update your TikTok app to the latest version. And then finally, the last thing that you can try and do is to restart your device. So just press down on the power button or however you restart your phone. Tap on restart and then you should be good to go once it reloads back up. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to drop a like onto it and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.